You see, we're on a mission from God. Medical authorities in Cumberland have concluded that in all cases, the killers are eating the flesh of the people they murder. Zombies got you down. Keep it tuned. WMMR DB Rockford. And how you guys doing? Welcome to the show. Hopefully you're having a good morning. Get your coffee going. Or if you're a third shifter, drink that beer. Get you a shot of Jack Daniels. Get you a nice woman, baby. Woo! Nothing better than just waking up or coming home with a nice lady's back of her head. Of, uh, looking, uh, you looking down on one, if you know what I mean. Uh, uh, uh. Well, we're going to start this show out with a little deal about how you better be safe when you're selling your motorcycle because, you know, some of these weirdos out there just jump on that sucker go and say, hey, where's my money, Jack? And just go. Just go. That's what they do now. Sad state of affairs, if you ask me. Sad state of affairs. We also got coming up this one news article that I seen. Having to deal with the Hells Angels and the military. If you want to get the actual starting or history of a club, go to the club's website. Really, just go to the club's website. It's a lot easier than trying to figure out what these uh, morons are talking about. When it comes to club history, we'll cover that as well as the answer is B and fact or shiznick, baby. Let's get this sucker going. Here we go. It looks like uh, I'm way up here. <laughs> Bystanders restrained man who drove his truck into Harley Davidson dealership. In Woodstock. This is right down the road from me. What the hell happened here? I didn't hear about these things. <sighs> Witnesses and employees restrained a 34-year-old Harvard man after he drove his pickup truck into the Harley-Davidson dealership in Woodstock. There's the picture of it. Maybe he wanted, you know, curbside parking. Who knows? It's a good dealership, though. Uh, Woodstock uh, Police and Fire responded uh, to the Woodstock Harley-Davidson uh, 2235 Southeast Wood Drive for a report of a vehicle that crashed into a building. 911 callers told dispatchers that a silver F-150 had crashed into the building and the driver was allegedly attempting to continue driving his pickup truck farther into the business. Maybe he was just shopping for a motorcycle. Just. <laughs> Officers arrived quickly, secured the driver who was uh, out of the pickup truck and restrained by a lot of other people. 34-year-old man from Harvard was escorted to paramedics where he was evaluated and uh, transported. Weird stuff, isn't it? Weird stuff these days. Facebook scammer took man's motorcycle on a test drive and never came back. You gotta wait, watch people, especially when you come off that Facebook stuff, man, with the marketplace. You gotta be like, yeah, huh? What you up to, Jack? What you up to? What you doing? What are you trying to do here? A man who arranged to buy a motorcycle over Facebook Marketplace allegedly stole the sport bike after he convinced the owner to let him take it for a test drive. Gonzalez Police Department said the suspect met the victim over social media and arranged to meet uh, outside the big lots on Airline Highway. Always make sure you freaking meet people at your house or by your house. Take their keys to their car, some, you know, whatever, follow their asses. I don't know, man. Uh, let's see here. Once there, the victim agreed to let the potential buyer take the Suzuki for a test drive around the parking lot. After the man made a few laps, he took off southbound down Airline Highway. I guess he thought it was his then. 
According to the police, the suspect was captured on surveillance cameras handing his car keys to an unidentified person into the store. Yes. That's why you got to take that before they do it, man. I'm just saying. Just saying. <sighs> Sad state of affairs when people do this. So conniving, man. So conniving, I say to you. Messed up. Uh, so bad here. We're going to go to fact or shiznick right now, okay? This is going to be a fun question. Fact or shiznick? Is it normal? Is it normal now? To pass gas during an orgasm. Again, is it normal to pass gas during an orgasm? Fact. That's what it says. Fact. Now, it says why here. When you climax, the muscles around your genitals, including a spear, what is that hell? I ain't even going there, man. I can't even speak English as it is. You want to get all doctor on me. It's a muscle. It relaxes. So it's not unusual, they say, for a little gas to escape. And this is according to an MD, a founder and medical director out of the Long Island College Center for Women's Health. But before even this orgasm occurs, the in and out motion may trigger gas because the penis rubs against the anus through the vaginal wall. This is what they tell me. This is what they tell me. What do you guys think? I don't know. I've had it. You know what? It, it, I kind of had it happen. You know, sometimes you get excited. You know, you're seeing somebody's back in their head. and <laughs> Oops. That's the best thing you can say in a situation like that is. Oops. <laughs> Just saying, man. Oh, boy, do women get mad when that happens. Anyway, we're going to go to this right now. Uh, remember that uh, pregnant librarian we were talking about that was killed uh, by a biker after the road rage incident? Uh, the mom is heartbroken, which, I, you know what? I can see why. I really can. It's a sad state of affairs story. And there hasn't been any charges uh, laid. Let's see here. Sarah Morales, a pregnant woman of 11-year-old, was shot and killed after bringing a gun out of her Florida home. Where bikers who followed her were standing, the biker claimed he shot the pregnant librarian in self-defense and has not been charged. See, this wasn't an unavoidable type of deal, if you ask me. Yeah, she left the scene of the accident, get her license plates, all that good jive. But why did you have to follow her to her house? So there's a lot that can be said about this incident, if you ask me. Now, it goes on to say, the mother of the pregnant librarian who was shot and killed following a road rage incident told Inside Edition... She's heartbroken that no one has been charged in her daughter's death. Yeah. She, quote, she was probably thinking if they see I have a gun, they're going to back off. The incident on the late November day, and we covered this, that led to the expected mother's death began when police said Sarah intentionally bumped into a biker with her car. Quote, this woman hit me with her car and fled the scene, and me and two other people chased her down. The entire drama played out in a series of 911 calls. And it goes on to say, I'm being followed by three men to my home. The panic in Sarah's voice was apparent as bikers followed her to her home outside Orlando. Quote, I told them to stop and leave me alone, and they won't stop following me. They're following me to my house now, actually. Now, I can see being pissed off and stuff like that. But at the same time, just get her license plate. This was a sad state of affairs all around. 
you know, I love you know the articles in the description box. You guys can check it out. There's a video and stuff. I'm not going to play the video, but uh, check it out. It's a uh, inside edition. Sad state of affairs. Now this was the story I was telling you guys all about. The real story of the Hells Angels biker gang and the military. This out of WeAreTheMighty.com by Blake Stillwell. Anybody with the name Blake in a picture like that, would you really listen to anyway? Not me. Goes in to talk about how the Hells Angels was found in areas of Fontana, San Bernardino, California, 1948. From there, the club grew exponentially, becoming one of the largest. We all know that. It talked about uh, Gimme Shelter, a 1970 documentary uh, about a riot during a Roller Rolling Stones concert. Yeah, we all know about that one. But then, at least, they do tell some truth, you know, because the Hells Angels wasn't started out of a bomber group and again go to the club's website to learn it all you know there was one person i think it was arville that was associated with that bomber group but he never became a member or anything i look at the pissed off bastards of uh, bloomington's uh history one of theirs actually uh you know started the uh, hell's angel deal and you got to remember back then there was all kinds of different chapters of the Hells Angels. It wasn't one cohesive type of deal until later on. And there's some pictures of the bombing group right there. Uh, now the 303's uh, story starts with naming their B-17 Hells Angels. And now, you know what? This was a very celebrated bomber group. Very, very much heroes of this country. And you got to give it to the Hells Angels. They're very protective of this bombing group because they don't want nothing bad associated to them. I just wanted to give you an overview of where the article is because you got to really go to the club's website to figure this type of stuff out, man. Don't go to these freaking people. Especially a guy named Blake that looks like that. I'm just saying, man. Not the best. Not the best place to go. Uh, too many people are fast to go to the internet to get their information about clubs. All that good stuff. Not a cool deal. Not a cool deal. Anyway, sad state of affairs. Oh man, did I screw that one up with that sweeper, man? I, you know what? You got to off and on these different buttons or it doubles takes you. Anyway, the answer is B here. Now think carefully. You got to think. These are very hard questions. Is cyber sex really cheating? Again, is cyber sex really cheating? A, if cyber sex gives you an STD, I would say so. B, if your partner wouldn't feel comfortable with what you're doing, you're probably out of bounds. C. If your privates look like an Arby's roast beef sandwich, you might be cheating. Again, if your privates look like an Arby's roast beef sandwich, you might be cheating. The answer is B. Come on. If your partner wouldn't feel comfortable with what you're doing, you're probably out of bounds. <laughs> you know what's funny? There's actually people out there that uh, probably got that uh, question wrong and they're kicking themselves in the butt. But hey, I try to give it to you, man. I try to give you the answer. 
The answer is B. Anyway, we're going to go over right now. We're going to listen to this kick-ass tune, if you will. And then we're going to be having China Dial in here talking some good stuff. Don't forget, you can get the Insane Throttle radio app on Google Play or just look in the comments section right now over on YouTube. There's a Discord link. Hit that sucker. And then you'll go over our Discord server into the radio room where everybody else is. That's where we watch everything. Uh, that way we get uh, some feedback from you guys. It's a great radio show. Anyway, we'll be right back after this. Yeah. 